Hello, welcome. My name is Cameron Stewart. I'm the Senior Technical Marketing Manager here at SolarEdge. And today we're gonna to look at small rooftop commercial using our SolarEdge design tool. All right, let's go into electrical design. So for small rooftop commercial systems, uh, just a, a basically a 175 kilowatt system, that is, that is a no brainer. That's an easy design. That's uh, maybe two inverters, but let's, let's dive in and take a look. So we can see, we can set up stringing zones. So if we know we want to make sure that we always have a specific uh, number of modules per string, we can define a stringing zone. Uh, we'll do this in a, another optimized design video. We'll talk about the stringing zone and how best to use it. Uh, the oversizing right now is at 111%. And so that is why we're recommending to 80 kilowatt inverters. However, we can change this. So SolarEdge Designer will only give you valid design. So our new Synergy inverters allow us to go 175% without a waiver. So you can design a system with 175%. Of course, we can click the auto stringing button and the auto stringing button will just automatically string the optimizers to the inverters without you having to do anything with the most ideal stringing. And because we have a 162% DC to AC ratio, the tool is recommending the 110 kilowatt Synergy Manager Inverter. Of course, we can change this. I may wanna to go to the 120 kilowatt because that's more readily available. Our oversizing goes down a little bit, 148%, so the inverter is working less hard. So I think that actually may be a good design. So let's do the 120K and let's select our power optimizers. So the power optimizers are automatically gonna, the power optimizers that are recommended are always compatible with this inverter. And of course, you should always consider, are you on the roof? So we're doing a rooftop, so we're gonna use the S1201, uh, or we can use the S1201 two to one optimizer, which is two modules per one optimizer for rooftop, just means it has two inputs. So we can parallel the input inputs to maintain our rapid shutdown compliance instead of wiring those two modules in series. So I'm going to say S1201 for rooftops, two to one connection. And if you wanted to see the spec sheet on that, of course, you can see the specs of that optimizer. And again, I'm going to click auto string. If you want to help define what the auto stringing is doing, you can say, oh, right now it's saying mixed direction where it's trying to string horizontally and vertically depending on the application like this right here uh, or you can say no i only want to do horizontal rows no matter what and you can apply this as well and see what happens when you do it looks about the same to me uh, so you can do that as well so i'm going to click uh, generate and let's take a look at what the stringing says so the stringing has some jumpers running across this big gap. And of course, if we were installing this on the field, uh, we may go like a couple modules back and forth here and then run across. So I may restring that one string and it's fairly easy to do. So I'm gonna again, tilt my, rotate my image so I can make my life a little bit easier. And to restring, you just left click this, double click the string and you can say, oh, I want to, uh, delete these these optimizers by left clicking yep left click okay so once you get all the optimizers unstrung let's go ahead and run that string again so I'm going to select the inverter and I'm going to select which which unit I'm working on which is this unit and now I'm gonna go back and forth and string this a little bit differently than what it was before. So I'm gonna left click and hold and, oops. Click the string tool. I'm gonna to left click and hold and it's gonna automatically do two to one. Let's see, cool. And you just run around and keep holding that left mouse click. And you're just gonna run around all the way until you get to the end of your string. And I'm going to actually dip down here 
Oops. Undo. I'm actually going to dip down here to reduce that jumper length. All right, so that looks like a more reasonable string layout or design that we would expect. So it still maintained the 23 optimizers per string, uh, but it's a, we don't have a couple of giant jumpers running back and forth across this, uh, this large gap. Uh, so that would be a lot of extra wasted wire. And we can see it's kind of the string, automatic stringing tools doing the same thing for this skylight. So let's go ahead and select this string and see if we can fix that too. Uh, so this is a string of 19, still in the same, still in the same uh, inverter. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this string and delete the last optimizer. Check this out. So let's uh, let's select this, and I'm going to delete this last optimizer. Okay, select. And then I'm going to double click this and we are going to unstring. And so I'm going to select this inverter chassis again and we're going to click on the string tool and we are going to string this ourselves. Okay, and so by taking this second string down to 22 modules instead of 23 modules, we were able to remove the need of a jumper, right? So we didn't have to have any jumpers running back and forth. So the string design is still valid and still a elegant design. So let's scroll down, see if we see any more things that we can change. Yeah, of course, if this were me, I would have gone one, two, three, four, five, and then six on the bottom here and kind of done this reverse of what, what the automatic tool did. So let's go ahead and see if we can fix this one too. So I'm going to select uh, this guy and then I'm going to clear strings and we're just going to select the inverter chassis that it was deleted from, click the string tool. We're going to do the same thing. Oh, but when I get to the bottom, it may uh, impact my um, where my string ends. So we might just undo all of this. Or you know what I might do is, well, let's look at this string. So this string is only 23 modules. So instead of doing a string of, or 23 optimizers. So instead of doing a string of 23 optimizers and 25 optimizers, I'm just gonna do two strings of 24. So let's undo that. Okay, so we have a solid string there. Let's go back to our select tool. And we can see that it's 23. So I just wanna basically shift this optimizer over here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna left click and then on the inverter chassis that we're working on, we're gonna clear strings. And then we're gonna work on this inverter chassis again. And we're gonna use the string tool and we're just gonna run it ourselves. Okay, and then lastly, that one looks good. All right, all of the rest of the strings look like a great design. Let's go ahead and run this.